Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So uh, today we're here with the Jeepers Den with our friends. We're gonna be showing you guys some of the accessories that they're gonna be offering here in Orlando and they're gonna be able to install it for you. But also, these fun toys that you can add to your Jeeps in the future. So stay tuned, we'll definitely show you some more. Stay until the end of the video, don't go away. We'll be interviewing our friends from Warren Industries, Amp Global with their Stinger lights and radios and Black Rhino wheels. We have here Brad with Warren. Hey Brad, how are you doing man? Doing great man, it's great to be in Florida. Awesome, awesome. So tell us, why should we get Warren? Uh, obviously reliability. Plain and simple, just we've been doing it for seven years. Um, winches are something you never want to get out, but it's always something you need to have. And when the, when the time comes, you gotta have it working. What would you tell someone like me that is looking for a winch? Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's new into the business. Right. You know, do your homework. Um, you know, kind of see what kind of bumper and, and what kind of you know mounting system and stuff did you like. You know, do you like the, the the bar over there? Do you want just a real basic one? Um, spend a little bit of money on a winch. Stick with a brand that's that's warrantyable. You can always get parts for it. You know, we've got winches that are you know, seven, you know, fifty years old out there, and you can still get parts for it. And it and. You know, like one and a half times the vehicle weight. So, you know, a vehicle weighs 6,000 pounds. Add, you know, half of that again. So, 9,000 pounds is your, is your winch minimum winch okay. rating. Okay. Well, that is so, good to know. So, then, you know, most of the time you run about a 10,000 pound winch on a, on a Gladiator, on a JL four-door. You know, if you've got a two-door, you know, you're only 5,000 pounds, you can get away with an 8,000 pound winch. We are looking to get winches on our Gladiators. And of course, we're going to be doing overlanding. We're going to put in the racks. Right. So it's, they're going to be heavy. Right. In that case, your recommendation will be? So it's still a 10. 10? Yeah. Okay. You know, a 12,000 pound winch is going to stress your mount. Um, but, it, but a 10, a single line, you're going to be able to pull, you're going to be able to pull that rig out of a lot of situations. And it's also going to be the fastest. Um, the 12s are a little bit slower. The 10s are going to be a little bit faster. And I hope everyone today learned as much as I did about Warren. Also, we wanted to show you their new accessory that replaces hooks and shackles for fast, easy, and more direct linkage to recovery points. So we got here Mike. Mike, tell us a little more about what your brand and what your accessories will help with their Jeeps. So our, amp, our company is Amp Global. Under the Amp Global brand, we have uh, our brand Stinger, Echo Master for safety and convenience products. And then we have our uh, Stinger radio, our pack interfaces. Um, a lot of stuff that we can do for your Jeep is go from mild to wild. Uh, if you guys want to do it's just a simple upgrade on the radio for the new J J uh, JL and JT, and then soon to come the JK. All flush mount, fully integrated to the vehicle. You're going to get a lot of the data features pulled back over to the radio. We have under lighting effects that we can be doing. You can tie all the lighting together in the app to make it easy to control. You can even add in a dynamic whip that's going to be controlled by the app as well. So if you're doing trail riding, you can get selected by the way so you know who, who's who on the trail. Again, just make things as easy as possible. At Jeepers Den, you'll be able to find a lot of different accessories for your off-road adventures. Their friendly staff will help you to find what you're looking for, and their team of mechanics will make sure that those accessories are installed correctly. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Black Rhino is part of TSW that's been around since the 80s. It's a well-respected company. Uh, we have in-house designers that make all our des designs unique to the Black Rhino line. We also have some unique finishes that we produce, as you can see right here. And we're not just doing truck and Jeep wheels, we also uh, have UTV wheels as well, for the side-by-sides, Pan Ams, and all that. So, for the real off-road enthusiasts, Black Rhino is a great choice. And I have to say, the finish you guys give to your wheels are great. Thank you. Uh, honestly, I compare them, and I, it took me five months to pick. <laughs> so. What is new for Black Rhino coming this for 2021? I mentioned now we're exploring into the UTV and side-by-side -side market. So Black Rhino now produces wheels in 14 and 15 inch uh, for your Razor or your, your Can-Am, whatever um, vehicle you have to go off-road, you know, Black Rhino will be there for you. We got the wheels for it. Guys, I love this brand because I personally used it. And thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. We're looking forward to seeing more of the new models of Black Rhino. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And 
I'll see you later, all right? All right, brother. Take care. Take care. Now, we couldn't stop looking at this amazing Jeep, showing us what Jeep culture is all about. I wanted to introduce all of you guys to Richard. He's the owner of this amazing Christmas Jeep. <laughs> Love it. Holidays, holidays in the air. So, Richard, tell us, for how long have you owned the Jeep? So, this is the 2015 JKU. My wife and I bought it about five years ago. Uh, we have twin boys. They're amazing, but we were tired of driving a minivan. So, <laughs> fast forward, here we are. There we go. I, honestly, I'm glad you did get rid of your minivan. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> That's great. So, you were mentioning that you also help and assist with the Oviedo here in Florida Jeep Club. Yes, so we started the Oviedo Jeep Club almost four years ago, uh, back in May, and it's been a great community effort. We do a lot of community service uh, items, uh, basically support local businesses, et cetera, and of course, uh, going off-road a ton, so we love that. We did our most recently fourth annual toy drive in the Oviedo Jeep Club community. We had 38 Jeeps all dressed out in Christmas attire and lights and we did a middle of mini parade which was awesome and my wife and i we love uh sharing the christmas spirit and our kids really really enjoy it so we leave our lights up through january 6th three kings oh my god that's amazing honestly i'm so happy you guys do a lot of community service i have been telling all of you guys about the jeep community it is amazing how communities get together for a passion and a hobby that we all have for off-roading but also uh, great looking gyps like this. Thank you and we'll stay in touch, okay? Thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. Well, this is it for today. We learned a lot and I hope you all did as well. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell so you can receive our latest updates on our future videos. Also, make sure to share this video with all your fellow jeepers since we'll be talking to many other experts in the jeep community. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel.